Hello everyone. So this video is the continuation of the previous video where I have explained about the linked list and what are the operations on the linked list. So in this video, I am going to show the program to implement linked list and perform the operations uh, like insert, delete, and traverse. So to define the node in the linked list, we have used structure data type. It's because a struct data type allows varying data types to be grouped together at the same address. And since uh, in the node of a linked list, have two types of information. One is the data and the other is the pointer to the next node. Therefore, it's easier to define a node for linked list using the struct data type. So, after defining this node, structure node, we are defining functions for inserting elements at the beginning at the last and just randomly insert similarly we have also declared functions to delete at the beginning last and randomly and there is also function for display and search so here i'm giving nine options to the user to select one user can insert an item at the beginning last or randomly or it, the user can also delete elements from the beginning last or delete a node after specified location and it will also show all the elements present in the linked list so using the switch case i'm giving all these nine options so for case one two three four and so on it will just follow um triggering the functions like begin insert insert at the last insert randomly delete from the beginning from the end and randomly delete and so on so let's go for the function insert at the beginning of the link list so to add item to the beginning we first allocate memory for new node then store the data and change the next of the new node to point to the head and then change head to point to recently created node so here i have already defined the structure node then defining the variable pointer to point to that node so using a malloc function i'm dynamically defining the size of this pointer variable so malloc is a standard library function in c that allocates memory of size equal to the size of the newly created structure node in the heap region and during the runtime and it returns a void pointer to that location so the pointer returned by the malloc function is typecasted into pointer to the struct node and type assigned to the pointer variable so in a nutshell we can say it's dynamic dynamically allocating the memory of size enough to whole node structure and typecast it to a pointer to the node structure then assign to the pointer variable so after storing the data then changing the next of new node to point to the head and changing the head to point to the recently created node we can say the node is inserted next is the void last insert where we are adding item at the end of the link list so here again the same case we are allocating memory to the new node then also checking the overflow condition otherwise it just asking user to enter the value then we are storing that value into the data then traversing to the last node two important points to remember was that head points to the first node of the linked list and the next pointer of the last node is null so if the next current node is null we have reached the end of the linked list so here when we are getting the last node it just uh, set pointing the pointer to the head and it's showing node is inserted next is we need to 
insert item into a random location similarly here also we are allocating memory and storing the new data into the uh, new node after checking the overflow condition then we are just traversing to the node just before the required position and that position is stored in this location loc variable then after that we are changing the next pointer to include to the new node in between so the previously uh, stored pointer is temporarily stored in the temporary variable then after inserting that node we are just setting the pointer variable to the newly added node so in the next video i'll just explain the deletion part because the video is getting too long thanks